What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, we didn't really do a whole lot. We had a bit of trouble with this particular uh, chef, which we found out that if you beat them, they, they will turn back to normal. So I see another chef up here. Now, I went ahead and healed back uh, in between episodes, so this is how the team is looking right now. I don't want to surf, I want summary. We figured out that against the Snorlaxes of the skilled chefs, uh, Maya's surf actually is like the better, it's pretty much the better option to make. It does more damage, and with the chance of critting that Maya has been hell have been doing lately um we'll be having maya at least whenever we see a chef or at least a skilled chef so we have maya our gyarados uh with intimidate holding the gamble fish with splash tackle bite and surf next is gary our slugma level 25 with flame body uh with yawn ember rock throw and harden Next is Dega, our Mystery Egg, level 23, rocking with the Shell Armor, blocking them critical hits with Hardened Leash Life Tackle and Egg Bomb. Sapuku, level 20, th level 35, the level 35 Nuzleaf, with the Leftovers, uh, with Bide, Faint Attack, Cut, and Fake Out. And last and certainly not least, our starter, Poic the Ball Toy, level 33, with Psybeam, Hardened, Rapid Spin, and Ancient Power. Um, so yeah, so I'm thinking that this is another, uh, skilled chef, so he roared out a challenge, more than likely this is a skilled chef, so let's get it. Mm-hmm, there we go, so he, a guard of war. Thankfully, we have bite on Maya. This Psychic should not do a lot. Did more than what I thought, and Bite isn't cutting it. Okay. Um, sir? You're... Oh, this is bad. More than likely, if he hits me with another Psychic, that's gonna do a ton of damage. Ah, I, I just bit my tongue. Fun times. No, the calm minds. Holy jeez. Okay. Uh, bite <gasps> is not doing enough. Uh oh. Bite. <sighs> as long as he doesn't um. He's gonna do it now. No. Why aren't you using Psychic on me? You have enough to probably take me out now. Wow. Another calm mind? <sighs> okay, this guy is now six stages, which is not good. Uh, may uh I don't the closest if I send out Sapuku actually he might be able to he might be able to live a six stage or he does that okay let's go fake out hopefully we kill it or not kill it but at least do damage faint attack the Gato. Of course he uses the Gato. Alright. Fain attack. Let's do it. Oh, this is going to be another lawn battle, isn't it? Not particularly looking forward to this. And the Fain attack actually is perfect because it gets, it gets through his, um... Why? Fain attack will go through the double team, so 
Sapuku is probably our best option right now. If he sends out a Snorlax, which I believe I saw, he did have two Mons. Uh, Maya's coming right back out and surfing that guy forever, ever, amen. <laughs> so. Can you die, please? Okay, maybe two more. You have two Gatos. Okay. Hopefully it was one for each. You know what? I'm going to speed this up. Okay. I didn't want to speed that up, but I kind of didn't have a choice. It's just hideous. Snarl returned to normal. Was cured of its formerness. So what do you have to say now? How did I get here? That's it. Alright. Would like to cut it? Absolutely. Now, what is this item? A revive. Nice. I actually, that's actually a pretty good revive, actually. I'm not complaining. Oh. We can't. Okay. Okay, so we can't go to Fallerbore. Seems like that the only way of getting there is to go north. So... That did nothing for us. That's fine. At least we turn. At least we found out that we can turn uh, people back to normal just by beating them, or at least uh, the skilled chefs. The Gardevoir was definitely not what I was expecting, though. I was really just expecting the um, uh, the Snorlax again, but no, I guess not. So we have two options. We can go right towards Four Tree Lily Cove, or we can go north into Fallibor. Or, uh, yeah, Fallibor. Let's do it. Famine's Desert. I remember this music. Oh, we need Rock Smash in order to get up there. I challenged a troll to a battle, but he was way too powerful. His bag is huge and holds more than six Pokemon. Okay. Um, I should probably bring Zigzagoon back into the party so that we have, uh, so that we have someone that can use Rock Smash. I think that's probably the best thing to do. He has, okay, so apparently there's a Mon, or a Trainer, or a Troll, basically, holds more than six Pokemon. Let's do it. Alright, so we're gonna... No, with, yeah, let's withdraw the Zigzagoon. Let's give the Zigzagoon the Rock Smash. Because I really don't want to give it to anyone else right now. Uh, we don't... Wow, we already have Cut and Surf on him. Uh, let's get rid of Tail Whip, because that's the only thing that we got left. And Zigzagoon got Rock Smash. Alright. So we're going to be dealing with a lot of ground types, so I'm thinking Maya would probably be the best idea right now. Unless we see Rock types, and then we're basically screwed. Um, so, let's use Rock Smash. See what this gets us. Route 111, Mobile City. Where are this? Escher Hill, the troll challenges all comers. Okay, so we can either go up the hill. Whoops. Trap in. Hmm. Do we really, do we need a trap inch? Probably not. The closest thing I would use a the closest thing to a trap inch that I would be using it for would be straight up just for Flygon. Come on. I picked up a Repel earlier. I could definitely use that, but I want to save it just in case we got another uh, cave to go through. Which we do very soon if we need to go up Mount Chimney. 
Um, we'll see. I'm tempted to try that troll. White rabbit? White rabbit, what is that? It raises HP. You know what, why not? Let's give it to... Let's give it to Gary. Okay. I'm guessing that's the troll there. You're a trainer? No. Oh, I'm dying, kid. Please help me. The troll. Seems like the only thing for me to do. Trainer tips, one of the... Blah, 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 blah. We got another chef. You know what? Let's try the troll. I'm very curious about this troll. Apparently holds more than six. Uh, apparently holds more than six. I'm definitely interested. Or, yeah, piqued my interest. Let's try this troll. We're gonna save. To be safe. And here we go. Let's do this. Oh. Six mons. Let's do it. Oh, another hard, foolhardy adventure. I shall defeat thee with all the power of a troll. All right, let's try it. Let's try it, troll. Troll Mugwin two. Oh my god! <laughs> it's using the Gen One sprites. <laughs> That's amazing. That's actually fantastic. It's using the Gen 1 sprites. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Seeing the Gen 1 sprites in uh, in this is funny. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, Maya, take a. So, who's the second mon? Who's the second one then? Linoon. Linoon. Why Linoon? I'm cute. What? Uh, bite? Okay, you're faster. Linoon? Of all the mods to use, why Linoon? Alright. Bite does that. Surf technically does more. So let's use that instead. Odor Slave. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. And... Ooh! The Sandstorm might actually take Lightning out. And nope. Barely. Almost does. Hornberry. It's not going to heal enough. Fairy swipes missed. And down goes Linoon. Why Linoon though? Weird. Alright. How, how, I, how, I don't remember the voice I gave him. Oh no. No matter, I have a giant bag that holds many more Pokemon. Okay, so here we go. So, you, okay, so you, Loud Dread, level 34, okay. Maya should be faster than a Loud Dread. Let's see how much a Bite does. If I can flinch, that'd be fantastic too. Now, Howl increases his attack. Just after I reduced it with Intimidate, that's fine. Um... Says he can hold more than six, so technically we're at his third. Mm. Jump kick. That shouldn't do much because I'm part flying. Um. Okay. I think we, I think we got this pretty much in the bag at this point. He has another Orenberry. That's fine. We can take it. 
bop. I mean, we can just do a regular bite and it'll still keel over. And there we go. Loudred's done. How are you doing this? That was Pokemon number three. I still have some more. This is number four. Um, okay, number four. This is, okay, this is up to seven. Pineco. Okay. Uh, Pineco Park Rock? Bug. Bug and Rock. Surf should be, I think Surf might actually be super effective here. No, it's not. That is fine, though. This takedown... Mm, the recoil did nothing. That's fine. Another, I'm guessing another Orenberry. No, no Orenberry this time. We're gonna bite. Okay. Uh, Homebone. We are keeping in on the Homebone. Because Surf is super effective against Homebone. So this should be good. Surf! Surf's up, dude! Bye bye, Homebone. Oko. And Spinda. Spinda, normal type. We don't really have a fighting type right now. I'll stay in. And the thing is, Sandstorm is going to stay. So I'm, depending on what he does, I may have to swap out next turn. We'll see. Hypnosis. Okay. That's good enough reason for me to switch, to be honest with you. So let's do it. Let's switch. I almost said sweep. Let's switch. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, let's switch out to let's switch out to Gary because Gary needs some experience. Does he punch? Wow. Um, not a good idea. Fa a very very bad idea. And then Spinda's hurt by the burn. We're switching out to Poic. Ow. That hurt, and that was also a crit. Why you do this? Well, you're about to die. So, good night. Now, do you have any more? That's number seven. How are you doing this? Well, this is not possible. I am a great and noble troll. How has, who, thou hast not the power to defeat me. I shall have to bring out my best. Okay. Number seven is not the last. This is the last. Machoke level 34. Maya would be fant- or not Maya. Um, actually, Maya would be good because this is a fighting type. Uh, Poic will also be good as well. Although Poic is close to dead. Um, actually, you know what? Let's switch to Poic. Scary face. Good. Uh, that lowers my speed. That's fine. I'm tempted to... You know what? Let's side Ice Punch. Okay. Alright. You have Ice Punch. Let's send out Sapuku because we got ourselves a Fake Out. See how much a Fake Out will do to you. And we will go on from there. Um, Machoke is buffeted by the Sandstorm. And then Sapuku's leftovers will heal it. Let's go Fake Out. You bastard. Alright. How dare you use Protect on me. I 
can't use Fake It anymore, because it's only good for the first turn. I'm, I could Bide. See what happens. Nope. That was not a good idea. Okay, um... Let's send out Maya. I have a feeling Maya's gonna die. But I'm gonna heal this turn. Hopefully? Oh man, that's Sandstorm though. Um... Let's give Maya potion, uh, super potion. There's the ice punch. That's gonna hurt a lot. No, <gasps> it did less than what I thought, which is good. <sighs> okay, surf and okay, we're fast asleep. Lower my speed. Oh no. Okay, I want- okay, this is- he said this is his best. We're at 21 minutes. Can I wake up this turn? That's fine if you're protecting. We're awake. And because he protected, I don't know if my speed is lower enough. I don't know if my speed is low enough. Ice Punch didn't do much last time. There we go. Surf kill? Thank you. Maya with the crits. Wicked. And it gets up to level 32 as well. Thank goodness for that. And again, how are you doing this? Fine. Since you have beaten me, the Troll of the Desert, I shall confer upon you this useful item. Brain Link? Is this the experience share? Oh, hell yeah it is. Let's give this to... Let's give this to Gary. Well, that was worth it, I think. I'm gonna end things off here. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer and I will see you after we go heal up and in the next video.